So you're probably wondering how to create this effect. And let me tell you, it's not that complicated. Let me show you. A lot of people have been asking me about how to use the carousel to make it rotate around somebody. Well, first of all, if you're in studio, this is going to be a lot easier. If you're not on studio, well, you're going to have to spend a ton of time tracking your subject and masking the subject manually. And by that, I mean just using polygons. First of all, you want to have your clip right here, the main clip that you have. Now, after you've done the color stuff, now it, this part is not necessary to do it at first. You can do this later. But then you want to copy your clip right here. And on this second clip, we're going to open the second clip in Fusion because for some reason, if you create a Fusion composition from the start, from this clip, for example, it's the magic mask is not going to work. I've already tested it with a Fusion composition and also a combo clip. So neither of them work for some reason. The magic mask just doesn't track. So you want to use this on the actual video that you have right here. Okay, so for for the magic mask, you already know how this works. Add your magic mask by pressing Ctrl spacebar. If you have studio, you probably know how this works. And then you just want to select your subject and you don't have to track this backwards, but it would have been a good idea if I did track these backwards. So after you have your tracking done, right now this is a copy of the of the element, right? So you're not going to see this. So I have to retrack everything. I'm not going to do that because I have these already, already done, right? This is just to show you what the process is. After the mass is done, meaning that you only see your subject right here, you want to select both of those clips and then right click and then turn them into a new fusion clip. You turn this into a fusion clip and now you open these in fusion, not in timeline. If you open this in timeline view, you can do that later on to like make any color adjustments, adjustments and stuff like that if you wish to do so later on. All right, now we can go open this in the Fusion page. And also, if you don't want to do the color stuff at the beginning, you don't have to. If you want to do the color adjustments later on, like with the carousel already on it, then you can do that as well. No, it's only that the carousel is going to be affected with your color settings then. All right, this is what it's going to look like. So what you want to do is we're going to get rid of these two things. We have the media one and the media two. Well, let me just find where that masked section was. Okay, here we are at frame 30, just so that we can know the difference, right? This is the main base and this is the media two. So then after you have those two things ready, you wanna go to the media pool, well, actually to the effects, open the templates right here. And after that is loaded, you can just press Ctrl, Shift, and Spacebar and find the carousel tool. If you have the free version, just copy that Fusion composition um, into the Fusion composition that you're working on, right? Now, just cancel these for now because we're not going to use that right now. Okay, now the first thing you need to do is obviously add your media to the loader. That way we can see where things are, right? And then what, the way that you want to set this up is like this. You want to grab your render 3D. Let me just make this screen a little bit smaller. Grab your render, make this, uh, bring this a little bit lower. We're going to cut those two and we're going to bring this into our fusion group that we have right here. And now we're going to grab these media in and connect these to the drop shadow right here. So we have a new merge node sort of thing. And actually, we need to do these that way. There it goes. Now, this is our base, and everything for the carousel is going to show up on top of this. Okay, ne then we're going to grab this media 2 that we have right here, which is the mask section, and we're going to add these to a 3D plane. Now, we have the 3D plane, and we're going to connect these to our transform right here with a new merge node. And now both things are going to be combined. Now, let me jump into the other composition so that we can, we have, because in there I already have all the carousels, media, and, and stuff like that put, well, the loader stuff in. Now, I was experimenting with the channel booleans right here, so ignore that. All right, now that you have your media, your second media in right here, then if you just press well, then you can press 2 on this Merge 3D and you're going to see how the carousel is around our subject. 
Now, in some cases, you might need to adjust the image plane position or the carousel's position. So make sure to take that into account. That way, the things are aligned properly and your subject is actually aligned with the main one. Because if this one is a little bit too small or it's far away, for example, then you will have this weird repetition right here. You don't want that to happen. All right. And then after that, you just have to animate your elements. If you have the pro version, you can animate everything from the inspector right here. If not, just go and use the main rotation. If you have the, the free fusion composition that I shared, use the main rotation right here and also the transform to make any animations that you wish to do so. Now here in this example that you saw at the beginning, I actually added this merge node onto the five cards so that I could add these sort of like edges to it. So for that, I just added one of those, copied that rectangle. And if you're working, and now let me just mention, if you're working on a vertical timeline, first of all, make sure that this background right here is set to auto resolution or unchecked and put this to 1920 by 1080. And the same thing for any other background element you add any new ones, because they will by default adjust to be vertical. For example, if you're working on a vertical timeline and the same thing you want to do for this rectangle right here. Okay, and then I added this instance glow to these right here because if we added the glow here after a carousel like I did in previous videos, then our mask right here that has this subject or your subject will also have that glow effect and we don't want that to happen because it will look a bit weird to have your subject glowing right there as well, right? Let's say if I put these right here. then I'm glowing there as well. I know it looks a little bit weird, but anyways, yeah. So if you want to make any adjustments to the colors or, or add effects like glowing and stuff, make sure to do that before the 3d planes that you have right here, because otherwise your main subject is going to be affected as well. Now that is because I have not been able to use this 3d plane as a mat, because when you use this as a mat, it just brings it on as if it is a big rectangle and just mag masks everything right there. It doesn't sort of like follow this mask um, shape that we will have right here. So if you know how to make this image plane a mat that actually is sort of like a cutout, let me know down in the comments so I can make that work. And that will make this process a lot easier because then you don't have to add any other effects right here at the beginning or before your cards, but then you just have to add these afterwards. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, I could make another step-by-step -step tutorial actually showing you the process, but I feel like this explanation should be good enough, right? Now, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And also make sure to check out the links in the description to download the free version of these. And if you want, you can download the pro version of these. And also don't forget to check out the Swabby bundle if you want to get over a thousand elements for DaVinci Resolve. And that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one here in Swabby. Bye.